So Elvis has taken to dining al fresco. I think he really enjoys it, but then who wouldn't? I mean, look at this, look at this wonderful view, wonderful weather. I'm not sure he's going to enjoy uh, dining out here come November <laughs> when we'll be under snow and everything, but uh, well, he might do. He might do, who knows. Hello everyone, welcome to and welcome back to our channel, Book Time with Elvis, with me, Mark, and of course this is Elvis, as I say, enjoying and eating his dinner. Hi, Elvis! Mm. Well, no, he doesn't want to be disturbed. <laughs> Can you blame him? <laughs> it looks so delicious as well. It is actually, uh, you know, organic chicken breast cooked with some dry food as well along with it, so... Yeah, so I thought I'd make a video today about, uh, I don't know, like lessons I learned or things I missed uh, from Booktube when I took my little hiatus. Um, you know, there are quite a few things. Uh, it's weird because, you know, when you've been doing Booktube for a few years and uh, you haven't really taken uh, an extended break, it becomes quite... It becomes quite, um, you know, a big part of your life, uh, and then uh, when you stop doing it, at first it's quite a weird feeling to know that you're not going to uh, make any videos. I don't know if you can hear me amongst the uh, munching there, uh, but when you know you're not going to be making videos for a while, um, it it is quite, you know, it's quite a loss in some ways. Um, you know, you certainly miss the community feel, you miss the people that you interact with. Um, and those are, I suppose, positives that you miss. Uh, you know, they're certainly not negative things. Um, you know, they're wonderful things, you know, when you get to interact with the, you know, I would say hundreds. Maybe, maybe, maybe under a hundred regular interactions. Even though, you know, the channel has 2,000 subscribers, yes, just reached, reached recently the 2,000 subscriber mark. So yes, congratulations to us. Congratulations, Elvis. Good job. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, supposedly 2,000 people are subscribed. Uh, but, you know, obviously I'm not interacting with all 2,000 of them. That'd be nice, of course. Uh, I'm always curious to know who's, who's really watching. But then, of course, you know, as everybody who has a channel knows, not everybody who's subscribed is really watching your videos. I mean, I certainly don't get 2,000 views per video. Um, so, yeah, and that, 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 I suppose, is a negative that I didn't miss uh, in my... Uh, sojourn away from the channel, which was the needing to check the statistics on every new video I do. And a lot of people say they don't check. I'm not sure, you know, obviously some people don't, but I think a lot of people who say they don't check probably really do. Uh, it's hard not to. You know, you put your time and effort into making something and you want to see how it does. Uh, and uh, I would always become obsessed, of course, if I lost subscribers on a video because I'd be thinking, why on earth did somebody leave? What did I say? What did I do? Um, I think generally it's not actually people unsubscribing. It's probably YouTube clearing house uh, because, you know, I very rarely, I mean, I don't know how many channels I'm subscribed to, but I very rarely unsubscribe. You'd have to do, you'd probably have to, you know, tag me in the video and then insult me to my face directly for me to even think about uh, uh, unsubscribing from you. Uh, um, although, of course, actually I do get tired of some uh, nonsense and stuff, and especially from bigger channels, not necessarily book-related, but, um, you know, there was a guy I used to follow who uh, lives, uh, lives in Ukraine for a big part of the time. He's American. Um, and at first I used to really like him, I thought he seemed alright, and then, uh, I don't know, he did something stupid over this summer, actually, he, he got himself a dog from the, a shelter, made a big deal of it, of course, filmed it, 
and then within a pretty short time he made another like sad video saying he had to return the dog to the shelter and that really put me off him so I did unsubscribe but I think any kind of dog lovers animal lovers out there would understand and know it wasn't a I don't think a particularly valid uh, reason for doing so um, especially you know when you make a video uh, making a big deal out of you know getting the poor thing and then that you sadly have to take it back uh, I can't get that you know however whatever happened well I suppose I didn't get him from a shelter he was a puppy when he came to me but I, I can't imagine what he could do that I would have to return him as it were oh I'd break my heart of course wouldn't it yeah but um so other things uh that were maybe negatives when you're on booktube but was a positive when you're off and it's this idea and it is a stupid idea about like how you feel that you have to read certain things now obviously you don't but if you want to join in events and be part of the community you you do have to join in with some events and you have to maybe read some books that you might want to read one day but you might not be like mentally or emotionally ready to read it at that time especially you know when these things are booked far in advance you know it's january and someone says okay we're reading vanity fair in october i don't know who would do something like that uh and you might not be ready to read vanity fair in october you might be ready to read it in february or you, you know you just might not fancy it when october comes around but you know because you've said you will read it and um you know you want to be part of the gang or you have FOMO that fear of missing out you put that pressure on yourself and of course uh, when you you know when I had to tell people I wasn't taking part in certain events and even events I started like summer of sport um, I felt stupid you know having to bow out and back out uh, but then it was also liberating because I knew that although I wouldn't be able to read necessarily a lot during the summer I knew that I could just give in to that mood reading part of me uh, completely and just pick up a book that I fancied right then and right there. I think Elvis is chasing flies. Yeah, they're probably after his food. Um, so that was in some ways quite liberating, I have to say. And coming back to it, I have decided I am going to, you know, take part in less of these uh, events. Now, I do enjoy them. And probably I will, um, what's the word, uh, still take part, of course, in some of them, but maybe a bit quietly, quieter than I did previously. Uh, because, you know, if I make a big announcement, then I'm committed to having to do that. Whereas if I just tentatively, tentatively say, yeah, I think I'm going to, you know, read uh, a book for Victober this year, uh, then if I don't, uh, it doesn't matter, does it? So I think that's the key, really, for this channel going forward, is not to make such a huge song and dance about joining every single event that comes along. Because, you know, I'm just put pressuring, I'm pressuring myself then, of course, to take part in everything. And then, you know, that feeling of letting people down or disappointing people when you realize that actually in the end you don't have time or you're unable to actually commit this month or something like that. So I hope that doesn't upset people that perhaps there's going to be less events plastered all over the channel. And instead, you know, I, I, I will restart um, probably the uh, Patreon book club I had going. I'll restart that in October. Um, and then I'll obviously be more than happy to do any kind of buddy read or small group read with people who happen to see a video where I talk about what I might read in the next weeks, um, upcoming weeks, and they think, yeah, they want to read it as well, and they want to read it with me, just send me a message, email, whatever, and I'll be very happy to read it with you, uh, rather than, as I say, jumping in on these big events. However, uh, there's always exceptions that prove the rules, of course, or um, make me contradict myself. There will be some events that I just can't turn down, uh, Dr. November being one of them, uh, but that's okay.
that's okay. A couple of events a year rather than a couple of ev events or more a month is probably uh, the way forward, I would say. Let me know what you think. <laughs> and uh, maybe you might want to see more events. Uh, I hope not, though. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll be able to accommodate you there. So I guess looking back on it, it was, you know, it was a mixed bag, let's say. There were positives and negatives to not being on booktube for a couple of months uh, yeah look at the state of this ball i've got some new ones but i have no idea where they are at the moment they're in a box somewhere um but he seems quite happy with it <laughs> for now but i will make an effort this weekend to dig through the boxes and see if i can find them but yeah i think that's uh that's the thing there were positives and negatives to not being uh on uh booktube uh, certainly that sense of uh, freedom from statistics and concerns over whether or not people like the videos and things that you put out was, to be honest, a little bit liberating. I've, I have actually not uh, checked or watched uh, the statistics as much on the newest videos because, you know, I think I got out of the habit uh, a little bit while whilst I was off so that's good I think because no one ever likes to see you know a dislike or somebody leaving especially when you don't know why but you know maybe it's just my own oversensitivity uh, you know and I have to get over that somehow or other uh, but as I say going forward yes there will be a few events throughout the year that I will take part or part in during uh, on this channel and I hope you'll join me of course as well and as I said as well, I'm also open to um, buddy reads with people or group reads with people if they're not too far in advance, uh, just to allow that ability to continue mood reading and whatnot. So there we go. That's my video. Again, not very well planned, but I'm enjoying this actually. I'm enjoying this kind of freedom of just picking up the phone, making a video, showing you Elvis, you know, showing you where I am, my new house area, the fields, whatever, the village, don't know if you, you can't see the church behind me, maybe we can walk over down the garden a little bit, yeah, down the garden a little bit so you can see at least the village church spire behind me there it is right there yeah no it's great here it's great so thanks for watching and uh, we'll be back soon so take care everybody say bye Elvis bye Elvis okay all right all the best see you soon cheerio